today we'll be doing graphs. We'll be graphing a quadratic curve, which is 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. We need a table in order to graph this. So the table is going to be from negative 2 to positive 4. We usually give you a range, and this is my range. And I'll be substituting x values into the quadratic to get the y values. So let me start with negative 2, replacing the variable x squared and x with negative 2. So I have 2, open bracket, minus 2 squared, minus 3, and replace the x. So I have minus 3 times negative 2, minus 4. So two, negative 2 squared is positive 4 times 2, that gives us positive 8. Negative 3 times negative 2, that's positive 6, take away 4. So 8 plus 6 minus 4, so my answer is 10. And that's my first y value, and we have it in our table. Now we're going to substitute negative 1, so we're by C x, I replace it with negative 1. Square the negative 1 to get positive 1 times 2 to give it 2. Negative 3 times negative 1, positive 3, minus 4. So when adding this and subtract, we get 1. So that's our second y value. Now we're going to substitute x equals 0, where we have x squared and x. So we're placing those parts with 0. 0 doesn't affect it, so eventually what we're going to have is negative 4 for when x is 0. The next number is when x equals 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 minus 4. So calculating this, our answer with 2 minus 3, that's negative 1, minus 4 to give us negative 5. Now the next value that we're going to substitute x equal 2. So wherever I see x, which is a space that I have available, I replace it with 2. So calculating it, 2 squared times 2 to give you 8. Minus 3 times 2 is negative 6. Take away 4. So calculating this part, 8 minus 6 is 4. Our answer will be negative 2. Now the x value is 3, so we're going to substitute in the space 3. 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. 3, 3 is 9, so that's minus 9 minus 4. So calculating this, 18 minus 9 is 9 minus 4 to give us 5. So here our y value is where is 5. Now the next is to calculate when x is 4, so we're going to substitute x to be 4. So we have 4 square and 4 in the next bracket. So 4 square is 16 times 2, that's 32. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 4. So calculating 32 minus 12 minus 4. So my answer is 16, so y value is 16. Now this is the time when we are going to plot the points that we have in the table. And this is a parabola where we have a minimum point. So once we have a minimum point, it means that the turning point in this case is below the x-axis. So here I'm showing the curve. It says should be a smooth curve when you plot. So let us now look at plotting the point. Let's get into the graph. Okay. So this is the graph for 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. It's a parabola when you have a, which is the coefficient of x squared being greater than 0. We have a minimum curve, so that means if it was a negative 2 in front of x squared, we would be seeing a maximum curve. Now, plotting these points is very simple. Based on the units here, this is saying in case 1 centimeter to 1 unit. 
you know, you would have give, be given a scale to work with in your exam. Or sometimes you're not given a scale. Here, I'm plotting the points. The first point is negative 2, 10. So it is negative 2. Let me look for 10. So you don't carry your finger up to the point where this is 10, y equal 10. So this is the point of intersection where x is negative 2 and y is positive 10. x is negative 1 and y is 1. This is the point of intersection. x is 0. 0 and y is negative 4. So this is the next point of intersection. X is 1 and Y is negative 5. So this is the next point of intersection. X is 2 and Y is negative 2. Then we have X is 3. You carry your finger to Y equal 5. And this is the next point of intersection. And finally, y, X is 4 and Y is 16. So this is a parabola, and as you can see, it's a smooth curve. So that's what's expected when you're doing this. And uh, if I ask the y-intercept, the y-intercept is where it cuts. The so y-axis so means y-intercept is negative 4. And this right here is our turning point. Now, here we have the graph. And... Uh, we can be asked questions, say for example, you have the original curve and we can ask to find it when it's equal to 2. So what we do to ensure it looks at the original curve that we plot and it does. So we look at what's over the equal sign, which is 2. So it means we're going to draw a line y equal 2, which is a horizontal line through the y-axis. And where it cuts the graph, we read off on the graph the x values, and that will tell us the solution for 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equal 2. So here you have it where I'm drawing a line through the graph. So as you can see, I'm drawing a line through the graph. Here we have point of intersection where the graph is cutting through the green curve at two places so we need to read all the x values on this graph so where we have the point of intersection we read off the x value on the x-axis so in other words here our x value c as you can see in d x is negative 1.14 and you read it off on the x-axis and for d for d is 2.64 just remember you just read off the value of. so reading off the values will give you the solution x equal negative 1.4 and x equal 2.64 now we have minus 2 here instead of negative 4 equals 0. So we have to get this left hand side to be negative 4 for the constant. So we minus 2, not only on the left, but also on the right. So what we have now is the original quadratic curve that we just have, which is 2x squared minus 3x. And then this is the negative 4 that we want, and it's equal to negative 2. Now we have the original curve. We can see this is y equal negative 2, which is a horizontal line through the y-axis at y equal negative 2. Now y equal negative 2 is a horizontal line through the curve that we have. As you can see, there are two points of intersection A and B. At the point of intersection, you can read out the x value. Here you're seeing x equal 2, while x equal negative 0 0.5. Just remember you read it off on the x-axis. And those are the solution 
for y equal negative 2 that goes to the curve. Now the next example that we have, we have it being equal to 0, but the minus 5x and the negative 1 needs to change. I need to add 2x, so I have the negative 3x, but I have to add 2x on both sides. Now the negative 1 needs to be negative 4, so what I need to do is now subtract 3 on both sides. You have to do the same thing on both sides. Now, calculating this, on the left-hand side, we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2x is minus 3x. And take away 4 equal 2x minus 3. So now we have the original curve that we have on the left-hand side. So we need to say y equal 2x minus 3 and we are going to plot the points on the graph but first we need a table so that we can get the points to be plotted now you can use any x values i am going to use easy numbers 0 and 1 so substituting x equals 0 0 times 3 0 minus 3 that's negative 3 and x equal 1, so 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3, that gives us negative 1. So plotting the point 0, negative 3, and 1, negative 1, as you can see, the line intersect at two points. So whenever we are finding the solution, we read off the x-axis. So the, the two intersection, I can basically find out what is my x value, and here I'm highlighting the point of intersection. So x equal 2.69 or 2.7, and here we know the x value, we have x to be negative 0 0.19, and some places we see negative 0 0.2. Don't forget to subscribe guys and like my video.